Armory Disc Golfers, welcome back to another video. We've been fooled. Twice. For all the reports of their demise, Discmania looks like a powerhouse in the sport, and for all the reports of their ascension, MVP has some disappointing news. Or, for some of us. We've got some major updates for the Disc Golf offseason, so let's get into it. Niklas Antela posted right before the New Year's, thanking Discmania for the past six seasons, and announcing that it was time for him to turn a new page in his career. This obviously meant that he was leaving Discmania, so speculation immediately began and continued for weeks as to where he would land and how it could shape the disc golf professional landscape. And dadgummit if he didn't just re-sign with Discmania. This offseason has been bonkers, and it seems like Discmania has been at the center of just about everything that's going on, from Eagle to Ganon to Alden to Niklas. And for all the discussion about their demise, they seem to be getting a lot of press, and they have a ridiculous top end. Niklas Kyle Ganon isn't as crazy as Eagle Kyle Ganon, and it probably still doesn't quite fill the void of Eagle and Simon, but it is still the best big three in disc golf right now, and you're going to be seeing a lot of disc mania on podiums all year long. I've got to give credit where it's due. There were some of you that placed your bets in the comments that Niklas would in fact re-sign with Discmania, but most of us just experienced our second pro signing announcement bamboozlement in the last two weeks. I'm happy for Niklas, who gets a well-deserved promotion to Discmania's top team alongside Kyle and Ganon, and I'm happy for Discmania, who is locked up as a top-tier manufacturer on the pro scene for years to come. Niklas is one of those players that I think we've started to overlook because he's been around for a few years now, but the dude is only 22. He just made his way into the 1040 club and is showing no signs of slowing down. I'm also rather pleased with Discmania and Niklas for the clever marketing here. The offseason continues to be fun, and though it's always cool to see top pros throwing for different brands, I enjoy what Discmania and Niklas did with this one. I would also enjoy it if you tossed a like down below and then tapped in that subscribe button. And while you're doing that, I've got some happy news and some unhappy news that we need to get to. On the happier side, all these pros moving teams this offseason brings up a discussion that I've seen a few times and I like to have with you all. Do you root for a manufacturer team? I used to pull hard for Innova and I became a fan of most of their pros because of that, but I'm definitely more eclectic in that regard now. But that being said, I still find myself wanting certain teams to sign certain players over other teams, so I've definitely got some underlying bias there. I think that it would be cool if there was something added to the DGPT where manufacturers competed for a team championship throughout the season. And you know, actually with just a little bit of refining like salary cap, uh, roster limits, you know, something, that could be so sweet. Doug, we need that added to the list. We like having teams to cheer for too. And regardless of what team you like to cheer for, we've got them represented at armorydiscgolf.com. We just added hundreds of more Discraft discs to the rotation and we've heard y'all's requests for more hats, so we've re-upped on some different styles of those. Thanks as always for your support, but now as we get back to the video, I have to break some bad news to some of you. MVP hates streamlined discs. I really wanted the whole Eagle Signs with MVP to headline for streamline thing to be true. It makes so much sense from so many different angles. Simon line on Axiom, Conrad line on MVP, Eagle's line on Streamline. Eagle would have plenty of slots that he could fill out in the Streamline lineup because they only have like 10 molds and every single one of them would sell like crazy because one, he's Eagle and two, regardless of the science or anything else, some people just want to throw traditional molds. But I overlooked one important factor, which is MVP hates Streamline discs. Eagle has said in recent interviews that he doesn't plan on having his own line and keeps talking about how excited he is about gyro as well as how gyro technology was a big reason that inspired him to make the move over from Discmania. Obviously, Eagle would be throwing a lot, even mostly, gyro discs, but the fact that he doesn't have a plan on having his own line, for now at least, and that he has a whopping zero streamlined discs in his initial in the bag, I know about the flare and the pilot possibilities, but you tell me where those are in this video. It makes me think that the stream line dream is dead. And it makes sense that MVP, whose whole shtick is that they make overmolded discs that are scientifically and aeronautically superior to the rest of the market, and who just invested millions into a top level pro, would want to utilize that investment to push their gyro discs and branding. If MVP makes streamlined discs as robust as Axiom and MVP, it does kind of undercut that brand identity. So I get it. But it does make me sad because even though I like MVP and Axiom stuff, the three-headed dragon thing was a dope idea and Streamline has a cool aesthetic. But oh well, this just gives more space for MVP's leasing brands to fill that market gap. And I'm far from unhappy overall. We got another look at a Proton time lapse, which apparently is more shallow and a little flatter than the originals. You can still sign me up for that. 
We also got a look of what appears to be a, a mohawk. <laughs> eagle has had a history of flamboyant hair and style in general. I want to see an eagle hair unboxing. Is that weird? I'm also not completely in the dumps about Streamline. Eagle and Simon apparently got right to work chatting with Chad about this Streamline disc, and Simon mentioned that he had been having to mess with jets all day long in the warehouse. I've been feeling jets all day, so I don't want to do that. So I fully expect there to be some sort of development on that front soon. I just really wanted the Eagle Streamline line. Regardless, Eagle and Simon are having fun, which means that we're having fun. Eagle is apparently better with his off arm than you are with your main. He said he's probably 930 to 950 rated left-handed and could get to 980 pretty quickly, which is just absurd. He's also either really good at guessing discs blindfolded, or he's just brailing the embossing on the rims. Either way, it was an entertaining watch, and if you haven't seen it yet, check it out in the description below. And while you're down there, we're looking at other videos or clicking links to our social media profiles, we'd love a like and a subscribe. On a personal note, my elbow has been jacked up for a while now, and I haven't even thrown a disc in 2024, but I'll be back out on the course for more normal content, hopefully soon as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.